Hi ladies, it's Victoria. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. I am so excited to be here tonight and I just, my heart is so full of joy and just, I'm just overwhelmed right now. <laughs> Um, I just came home um, from work. Uh, it's been a very, very long week. And the other day I got a package from an amazing lady on Instagram that I have grown to know and we talk on Instagram and stuff. And when I posted about our medication issues, she instantly messaged me and I got the most amazing package with so many things that we need and I just came home to a second one that has everything else. I am just blown away. I don't even know what to say. These ladies have asked for nothing in return. I'm just in shock. I can't believe this is happening. Uh, things like this don't happen to us and I I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to cry. <sighs> I'm so grateful and they've given me a gift that I can never repay and but I'm going to try. I want to pay this <clears throat> forward somehow. I'm going to find a way to pay this forward to other people and you know I I've, I've started by promising that if I have medication left I will donate it to whoever needs it um you know but I'm I have to find more ways there I really feel like this is God in my life sending these people to me telling me that it's going to be okay and to keep pushing and to not give up and I am I'm so grateful, you know, we've been asking for a sign for so long and I know that's a terrible thing to do, but sometimes you just need a little something to tell you that it's okay and that you're doing the right thing and this is that sign for me and I am just beyond, beyond grateful, you guys. Um, I don't want to ramble and ramble about this, but there are good people in this world and I am just blown away right now. Just completely blown away. So I wanted to share that with you guys and I also wanted to come on here because I promised that I would do a uh, update video after our training, um, our injection training that we had on Wednesday. And I did film the video on Wednesday but then I was having uploading issues so I refilmed last night um, but it wouldn't post and then tonight as soon as I got this other box I trashed last night's video because I just need to tell you guys how grateful I am for these ladies and for all of you for supporting me every step of the way. Your support and love means just as much to me and I am so grateful for all of you. So anyway, um, I wanted to share with you guys about our injection training that we had on Wednesday. We met with an amazing IVF nurse who really took her time to go through everything. Not only did she give us written directions, she went through every single thing step by step. And she took her time. She really made sure that we understood. She let us practice, which was fantastic. That was my biggest concern, I think, going into it is that you know, we weren't going to get the opportunity to actually try. It was going to be more of an observation type thing. Um, and then we'd be trial by fire <laughs> learning the first time we do it. Um, and I'm not so much concerned about myself. I'm really used to needles um, from all of the medical issues that I've had throughout my life. I'm It's old hat to me. They don't bother me. Uh, I'm more concerned about my husband who doesn't like needles and is terrified to have to inject me for my intramuscular ones. So... Uh, yeah, I'm a little nervous about that, but <laughs> the training overall was great. It was about an hour and a half, which I really appreciated that she took her time. She actually had some expired medications that we got to practice with, so we actually got to practice mixing them um, and drawing them up and then injecting them into a mock human, so uh, a foam, a 
you know, really, really dense foam um, just to practice to see what it feels like and, and, you know, making sure all the air bubbles are up and how, you know, just knowing overall how to do everything. So it went really well. Um, we learned a couple of things that I didn't know before. Um, first of all, if we don't end up going with the Follistim, um, I can do Brevel, which I can buy directly from my clinic. And if we do the Brevel, we can mix it with the Metapure. So it's just one injection versus two, which obviously is nice. Uh, the fewer injections you have to do, the better, um, at least in my book. I mean, obviously I'll do a million a day if I have to, but anything that we can do to kind of cut that down makes me happy. But I wanted to ask you guys, I mean, do you know any difference between the Brevel and the Follistim? If you've used one or the other, let me know what you think. If you've tried both, let me know if you noticed any difference. You know, obviously I want to do what is best and not just settle. So let me know what you think. Um, so that was the first thing that I learned. I also learned that um, we won't have to do any other intramuscular injections during the first half of all of this leading up to the egg retrieval except for the Novarel, which is my trigger shot. So I'm excited that there's just one of those. Um, but then in, you know, once we do our transfer back, um, then I'll be on progesterone oil, uh, which will be an injection every day, an intramuscular injection, but, and I'll be doing that for about 12 weeks until I'm released to my OB, but that's okay. Whatever it takes, if we get to that point, I really don't care. I'm going to be so excited. So, um, that's another thing that I learned. We also learned, uh, kind of our timeline for things. So as soon as my cycle starts in January, I call them day one and then they'll bring me in on day two or three to do my baseline blood work and ultrasound. And then I'll be in every two or three days after that to monitor things and see how things are going. And as soon as we get follicles that are measuring at 12, at least two, they will, um, at that point, start me on the Ganarelex to keep me from ovulating while they try to catch more follicles up and, you know, grow as many as we can. And then once I've either stopped progressing or I have enough, um, or, you know, they just decide that my levels are getting too high, uh, we'll go ahead and do the trigger. And then 36 hours later, we'll do the retrieval. Uh, from that point, they will culture the embryos to day five. Every day we'll get a phone call telling us how they're doing, how many we have, um, you know, how they're dividing. They'll be graded every day. So we'll also be let know uh, what the grades are. And then at day five, they'll call us and tell us how many A and B quality we have. Um, any that are A and B quality will then be biopsied and then they'll all be frozen. And the biopsies will be shipped to a lab in Miami that actually does the PGD testing. Um, and they'll be airlifted the same day, so we'll get the results the next day. And then at that point, they'll let us know what we're working with, and we can kind of make a game plan from there. If for some reason we don't get enough embryos to do PGD, um, they really like to send five, between five and eight. Um, but if we don't have enough, They'll suggest that we bank them and then let my cycle start and then start over and stim for another month to get another round of embryos that we can send as many as possible. And obviously, since PGD is so expensive, that is, you know, an ideal situation. But then you also have the cost of medication for another month to do it again, plus putting your body through that two months. Um, so there's some things to consider, but we'll have some options. Hopefully, we won't even need to worry about it. We'll have at least five um, A or B quality embryos to send for PGD. Um, and then once we get the results back, we go from there. So if everything works out as planned and we can send embryos for PGD right away, then we'll be looking at a transfer sometime in February um, because obviously we'll have to then let my cycle start after the retrieval and then they'll start prepping me for transfer. So that's a different regimen as, you know, as far as estrogen and progesterone and what they'll be doing from there. Um, and then, you know, if not, obviously then we'd stim another month and then we'd be looking at a transfer sometime in probably the end of March. So obviously we want sooner, but we're going to take whatever we can get. And we're taking this one step at a time and trying not to get ahead of ourselves. So we're really excited. We did sign all of the paperwork for PGD. So that is 
is happening. And like I said, I'm going to post a video. I'm actually going to film that tonight as well. And I'll post that tomorrow as to how we came to our decision to move forward with PGD and kind of what I went through emotionally. So that video will be coming tomorrow. Um, so that's our injection training. Um, and that's where we are with our plan. And you know, again, I just want to reiterate how thankful I am right now. I'm just overwhelmed and shocked. You know, with everything going on in this world right now, you lose faith in humanity and faith in, you know, people having goodwill. And I just can't believe that these women who don't really know me that well, they know me through Instagram, but they decided to give me such a precious gift and I'm forever grateful and I'm so excited. So anyway, that's where we are. That's what's happening. Obviously, you know, we're not starting stims until January. Oh, I wanted to share a funny story with you guys. So when we went on Wednesday, um, prior to that, like two weeks before that, I'd been told that we couldn't start stimming in December because they closed down for Christmas, which I was a little disappointed, but you know, obviously we need some time to get money together. So, you know, I figured all for the best. Um, but then when I got to my appointment, she said, yeah, unfortunately today's our last day for people to start cycling in December. And I was like, oh, well, I was told it was, you know, it was already closed. And she's like, no, no, today's last day. If your period would have started today, you could have started stimming this month. Wouldn't you know it, my period starts yesterday. <laughs> Just the irony in the whole situation. I'm not upset about it at all. I'd already resolved myself to the fact that we're starting in January and I kind of view that as a good sign. It's a new year, a new start, a new beginning. Hopefully it'll be a really good year. So, um, you know, I'm not upset about it, but it's just so funny how these, you know, little things just work. It just cracks me up sometimes. You have to laugh. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing really well. Um, you know, let me know how you guys are doing. Share your video links in my description box because I always love to check on you guys and see how you guys are doing and where you are with your journey. As far as what's coming next for videos, I have lots of videos planned for you guys over the next month. Um, I'm going to try to do some actual real vlogging, some day in the life type stuff, um, some updates on some weight loss stuff that I'm working on, um, you know, and just day to day activities. Sunday, we're going to get our Christmas tree and we actually get to ride the Santa train. My mom got us tickets and then we go pick our tree and they load it on the train. We actually get to cut down our tree and they load it on the train and bring us back and we get to see Santa and have Coco and it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna vlog that for you guys and do some more day in the life kind of stuff. Um, but please leave some video requests down in the description, down in the description box. You guys can't right there, but in the comment box, leave some video requests for me. If you guys have questions, if there's anything you'd like to see, anything about my life or you know, my family or what we're doing or where we live, like whatever. Obviously I'm not giving you my address. I love you guys, but I guess I probably won't do that. But if there's anything you guys want to know or videos you want to see, please let me know. Um, because like I said, I'd really like to start picking up the vlogging more and more. So anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome night. TGIF. Happy weekend to all of you. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video.